Hello friends, it's Jana. Today I am giving you a quick update of this ficus plants that I have here in my patio. It rained today and my plants just decided to attract me with their beautiful lush look after the rain. I don't know why but after a rainy day and the sun starts to shine up again, it just gives me that vibrant color of the leaves of the plant. I don't know if I'm the only one seeing that. Let me know if you also noticed that. But this is what I decided to do today. So this is my ficus tiniki. This is the altissima, I believe. And this is the burgundy. I have them out here um, happily for more than six months now. And I also decided to um, throw some succulents down here these are my succulents that are leggy and just starting to just grow wild so i did not really plan on making this like compact and beautiful because i didn't know if they were gonna grow happily here they were these babies were actually dried up from this little um little pots that i put them into so i decided to throw them in here that way i don't have to keep on watering those little pots that i have and they decided to grow and maintain its pink color these are i believe this a type of acetum i forgot what it's called this is another um beautiful succulent i have a long time ago and here is another sedum that i have which i really love so you notice me probably that i love vibrant color of a plant so notice this beautiful altissima here so pretty and it is giving me that one plain yellowish neon color which i think it is beautiful and these half leaves are just gorgeous and the very different variegation and it's so pretty so i just love it every variegated plants and especially with the green it's so attractive so i have this sedum in here they were actually getting so brown and dying on its pot so i decided maybe i'll just put them in here because they were root bound on the little nursery pot that i had from a long time ago throw them in here decided to grow happy with the rain and actually this is in the full sun but the shade of this ficus tree is giving them that shade and covers them from the intense heat and decided to not burn also here is the agavoides that i have a long time ago and this is another this is another beautiful sedum so friends you notice again my dirty yard every time it rains the water just overflows everywhere and it's not even draining i don't know why but these are the things that i'm going to clean after the rain but right now i am enjoying this beautiful wet look of my plants because succulents i don't really leave them looking like that because i get so worried that it would get sunburn when the sun hits it in the morning or whatever but for some reason this big plants that i have this one oh just pluck a leaf <laughs> and it's floating okay friends well I just have to pick up that that little bit of a touch just blocks that's why you could see the stem here is so bald because every time my dog walks around here and catches the lizard it knocks down leaves so i just throw back leaves here so just like this one i also damage leaves and pluck them myself so i throw them back and that's one of this right here actually see it just rooted back again after i don't know when they started to get some roots and have a baby so i just put them back up there they'll be happy it will get rooted and these are my little this one little ones right here this baby pink i forgot the name so let me know if you know this babies but this is their color because of the sun here it get hit and with the cover the shade from the ficus didn't get burned and normally this of agavoides i'm talking so fast again this agavoides normally gets burnt so while it's spring right now and it's happy i am keeping this here and maybe move them 
around when it gets so hot during summer so those talking too much on that side let's move on this where my ficus altissima what's under here let's investigate so i have this one not so happy but it decided to get me two heads in the top there although the stem is crispy let me see i i'm afraid to pluck it a little bit there so <laughs> this one is also sad in there but it almost died on me but now i can see more green on that one don't know the name again so this is another plant that i have similar to this uh type of bacrazula and here's more here more babies so i just throw the baby so you notice right there more little babies right there so dropping them off there to grow so guess i got so much babies that sometimes friends my yard is loaded with those little cups and it gets messy so i just decided to why not just put him here so here's more in to wear this burgundy ficus that i have so this ficus actually has given me another stem sticking out right there i'm so happy friends because i like this to get bushy and some people propagate it cut it to make it big but i'm happy that it gives me this little stem growing in the side here so that's cool so here's some of my plants here this is my Pearlborn Nornberg that is a baby and here is this um, jelly bean plant and this is another one look at this one this one is rotten but it is still alive and crawling so hmm wonder if I pluck this it is happy so far so I'm gonna leave it right now while doing the video so I'm gonna see tomorrow how that one is gonna look because I'm going to save those babies those are healthy babies in there and so full of water so cool so hmm I can see some ants crawling there too let's go around here oh I'm seeing more oh so happy babies look at those so happy and oh, <laughs> remember this friends I made some on a shell a long time ago and I actually have them growing my bird is barking like a dog so if you hear him talk or something that's my bird so <laughs> that's Louie um, here this one here so this one here it is growing out of the shell and it's happy in there I throw them in there a while back so this one is also happy I believe this is a moon glow and here is here here is a weed <laughs> um here is some more baby morning beauty i believe so this one is another it's i think this one is a moon glow another moon glow so happy oh another sedum right there elephant bush this one is a sad one so leaving it there maybe it'll recover so you see how crispy and wrinkly that is leading water but with the rain maybe i'll be happy two days or three days from now that's a happy well these are the three pots that is right here in my garden happy so far and growing so leaving them alone well i'm gonna show you this one last pot right here this is my um ponytail palm that my mother-in-law gave me i thought it was going to die but it just needs some cleanup it started to get green again it went like almost yellow to me during winter i leave them out in the yard and just cover this during um frost but it went happy again so <laughs> it's happy but there's ants crawling it needs some treatment you see that that makes me worry so i don't know where i'm coming from but i haven't seen them last time i was here but i see ants crawling hmm maybe the rain drowned them tell me about my my plants friends too many collected too many and there's a weed so let's pull that i have a lot to do today but let me just show you this topsy-turvy in a ball this topsy-turvy on a ball is actually looking so happy i have this 
planted a while back and I'm let me just pull this weed is growing down here it's growing fast look at this on um, Tapsi Turvey it looks like there's two heads in there what is that that's so cool I don't know I'm afraid to touch them I don't want to disturb the uh, the color of the powder looking of that thing that protects them so here is this beautiful babies that it's coming out from this mama plant so much friends this topsy turvy is just amazing with babies it needs cleanup though and also i have not treated them with neem oil which is i am going to do that this week another succulent that i have in this bowl which is sick look at that that needed some help look at oh my that is a bunch of that is a bunch of bad stuff right there look at the i'm gonna pull this away because that would just kill my plant and that all oh, gross that neat that milly bug right there is just growing but this is so beautiful i don't want it to get affected and this is the um this is the Echeveria tipi. This is the Echeveria pink ruffles. And this is another ruffles. So I thought this is the same with this. But it's different. But this needs cleaning. I'm gonna move this away from here because I don't want it to get so sick with this. This just gives me a lot of millibugs. If you have this Echeveria that is like this, friends, very prone very prone to mealy bugs and that's so gross i get itchy looking at it just be touching it i need to get my gloves and work on that i need to pull that out today because mm, i was gonna not treat it today well a good thing i seen that in this video because i'm gonna work on that well friends this is it for now just a quick update and showing you the bugs and everything that's growing in my backyard anyways that's it for now friends i thank you so much for watching and i will update you soon again next time happy planting bye bye